This is the original Counter-Strike experience. We're here on the 360 taking a look at it, I guess you would say emulated wise. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribing is great as well. So this experience here, we're getting, well, it's not widescreen, so it's like 480p, 30 FPS as the, uh, the target and whatnot. And yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's the classic Counter-Strike experience with a wide range of different maps that you can play. So the biggest thing to note is, whoa, that you can enjoy this game from the perspective of playing it offline, because obviously the online does not function anymore. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it definitely, I would imagine the multiplayer would have been a pretty big deal on console back in the day because, well, it's Counter-Strike. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of quite interesting to go and dive into this one as uh, kind of holds up well, I'd say, all things considered. Hmm. See, there's so many like original Xbox games that I would have just loved if the multiplayer would have been preserved into the modern era. That would have been so cool. So, wide range of different uh, maps and options, and then obviously you can have the, you know, the bots. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty gory. I, I did not expect that kind of hit there. M4A1, yeah, let's go for that. So it's round based if you're not familiar with Counter-Strike. So you get money every single round and then you go and you take on the enemy team. You're on two perspectives, there's some demolition type elements to it. But it's a very pretty straightforward kind of game. Like it looks maybe a little bit silly but this is definitely a classic shooter experience. That is for sure. It's, it's not necessarily too bad on here either. It'd be really cool if they could, you know, kind of bring this back. I mean, I guess we're all on the global offensive these days. That one's also on the, uh, well, it's on the Series X to a degree through the backwards compatibility. So that's a friend. Wow. I kind of wasn't expecting this to be as, as gory as it is. Huh. That is kind of nuts. Did I just throw my gun? Okay, uh, does anybody know where I threw my gun to? Kind of just threw an M4 away like I'm a maniac. Why is there a throw your gun away option? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do all that work to re-pick up my gun. <laughs> and then I get shot. <laughs> Who's gonna win this battle? It's actually like pretty gory. You see lots like the blood bits. Like the character models are pretty decent. I always get amazed by how good some of these like original Xbox games look. Like genuinely, I'm always like, wow. Didn't think it would look like that. K and M. Any equipment? Maybe some Kevlar. Yeah, let's go do it. Let's get down to business team. So this is like stadium. It sounded pretty cool, so I was like, we'll go for this one because it'll be something a little bit different. I'm assuming we'll probably play a few matches and show off different you know, maps and whatnot. You are out of ammunition. You've got to be kidding me. Was it like a budget? <laughs> budget cut on that? Well, I get like more than a single magazine to kind of shoot with. It's not really looking too good for our team out here. Alright, let's do this one. But, uh... Maybe we'll buy some equipment? Okay. Where do we buy the ammo for this thing? Primary ammo, okay. There we go. That way we'll be able to shoot <laughs> a couple of people. Yeah, I could get more than one round off on folks. That is, it's, it's actually really interesting. There is these like weird lines, and I think they're showing up in the recording too, along the, uh, the left, or not, sorry, not the left, the right and the bottom of the screen. 
I don't know what those are. Those might be like weird effects from something. I'm, I'm not too sure. Obviously emulation is, is never a perfect sort of thing, but Xbox seems to do a pretty good job of it for the most part, emulation-wise. I gotta say, I'm always impressed. Whoa, that was an insane headshot there. That was beautiful. And there's different bot difficulties, too. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Wow. That was pretty, like tanky and insane I was I was not expecting that kind of hurtful shot there that definitely took me right out holy yeah no I was not expecting that one that that is for sure enemy rip yeah okay friend can't see their friends get them with your precise shots right there cat that's what I'm talking about All-time power player right here, that's for sure. Oh, even doing the crouch shooting. So yeah, I love the fact that Counter-Strike is just like completely just random shooting nonsense almost. Like it's a lot of almost luck on top of, I guess you would say skill. Wow, he actually delivered there. Kent is, uh, Kent is a tank. I might go with the, the M4 again. And should we do the bow pump? Yeah, let's do that one. Let's give myself a little bit of ammo too. This is like the AUG, basically, right? And he's like running around with his little knife out. That is like a strategy, is just to kind of like run with your knife and you go a little bit faster. Got him. What are you guys shooting at? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, that was a hard shot. Counter terrorists win. That's us. The match has ended. Okay, let's get into this. I guess next lobby? It's telling me to please wait. I feel like you could probably have had some like crazy intense matches back in the day. Oh, so it just like reloads you into the same same map or what? what is that do you switch sides maybe maybe it's you switch sides oh no no it, it literally is oh wait what is this all right i'm just gonna take a look here well we are on the other side now okay oh so this is just the other perspective or is this like part two of this map or something No, no, this is literally just the other side. Okay, let's let's change the map. Uh, let's do dust. Obviously, that's a that's a classic one, right? Let's switch over to dust here. Let's see what this is. Yes, I do. Yeah, let's let's get some dust going on. <laughs> Look at the character models. They just they killed me. They're, they're so funny. Yeah, we'll, we'll be the the terrorist side, I guess. Let's go team. I have spotted a friend. It's nice to have a friend. Fire in the hole. Hmm. Trying to find some enemies though. Oh, there's all the enemies. Enemy camp? Oh. <gasps> Not Kent. Uh, looks like a little bit of screen tear in there, but uh, not too bad. Ooh. That was some fine shooting with that pistol there. Look how you can watch the other team. I think that might give you a bit of a kind of advantage there. Uh, let's see if we get a gun this time. We can get the defender. Go, go, go. Ah, look at that beautiful backdrop. It's so majestic and classic.
Hmm. Getting shot from behind or no? Okay, just in front. Oh, <laughs> these these bots they uh they they're a little deadly. That one just went right around the corner and taught me a lesson. That's for sure. It's like strangely cinematic, <laughs> kind of watching from the third person perspective on here. These guys go so tactical. Nice job, team. See, now my team sticks together, and I go off and do my solo thing. Gets me killed. But that's life, you know. Might be planting there. Oh, the bomb has been planted. I just, I, I love the, like, almost cartoonish quantities of, like, blood that come out of the enemies. You even get stats, like, health and everything, too. That was a very well done, uh, kind of offering, Counter-Strike-wise. Right on, guys. That's what I like to see. Wait, now, was that counter terrorist win? It's the score. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with the team this time. They seem to know what they're doing. Ooh, that's, that's some uh, screen tearing going on. They've planted the bomb. Now yeah, we're getting some frame drops here. Okay, well, I didn't get anybody with that P90 and got absolutely smoked. Maybe we should change the map up too. I'm just trying to show off a few different ones. Um, like there's there's a lot of maps here, right? Like that's that's actually like a really impressive quantity of of levels that are within this game, which is interesting. It almost feels like a full full experience for multiplayer, full map content. Wow. Bravo. You look at a slightly better pistol. The Nighthawk, let's do it. Rations by bank, really? Oh, I love how the cutoff is just like this big tape here. That's that's kinda funny. See that beautiful shot? Straight up smoke that guy with his gun. And I'm out of ammo. Uh huh. Don't have time to run back to the purchase spot. Wow, look at this hyper realistic snacks in there. You can tell almost exactly what every one of those food items are. Definitely is neat to see how visuals have changed so much across uh, generations, that's for sure. I always just find it utterly fascinating, personally. Huh. There's hostages? It's all the same lady. Oh, this guy's got all the gals going. Wish I had that kind of collection of gals following me at some point. Half-Life the movie starts at 11 p.m. That's kind of funny. This is a time when you knew you were getting sequels and stuff too, which is kind of even more hilarious. It's like a ladder we can go in the vent? Well, that did not work out at all for me. Should have maybe crouched out there and uh, got out of the way, but yeah, no luck. 
I like how that every single match there's different characters, like the different, you know, squads. It's fascinating. Is this guy like stuck in the bathroom? No, he's not. Okay, good. He's making his way around. Mm, using the vents. Very, very sneaky. I like the strategy. Oh, look, it's the hostage ladies. They're all the same. They must be like triplets or something. Oh, <gasps> one of the hostages was killed. As long as most of the hostages survive, that's that's what matters. Let's go, team. Friend Oscar. I wonder if it did that for multiplayer, where it's like, oh, friend this, friend that. Well, that was close. That guy took out a great chunk of my soul. I'm down to like one health here. It's almost funny too, because it's like the scaling for a lot of the environment stuff is, is almost a little bit off too. Chateau? Yeah, let's do that one. I'm just really intrigued by the different like map options and stuff in this. There are like a wide range of levels. Multiplayer would have been a blast back in the day for this. I bet I would have played just a ton of this. Uh, so we'll do the terrorist side. Get a slightly better pistol here. Let's go, squad. Time to plant this bomb. This very low resolution bomb. Is there like no secondary way to get into this place? Like this is pretty easy for us to just hold up on. Look at that beautiful backdrop. Ah, oh, so realistic. Hmm, I think it's gonna blow up. I don't even see any enemies. We're doing pretty well. Why didn't the bomb blow up yet? Oh, I think it's still going on. Okay. Oh, I need to like a tapestry place. Target successfully bombed. Right on. That mean I can bring out the big guns. I've got the ammunition to battle away here. That's what it's all about, guys. I've spotted a friend. I've always wanted a good friend. Oh, what was that? say I much appreciate this. Just kidding. It's all about winning. Okay, let's try the MAG-10. Maybe it's a little bit of Kevlar. Let's go team. Definitely wasn't expecting a uh, jump from the window. No siree. That is so cool that you could just like Slice in the window and stuff. I did not see that coming. Because it doesn't really like show as like being an area that would make sense that you could do that kind of thing, but wow. So cool. <laughs> 